So, next problem, that our third problem, which is concerning about the interface temperature of the wall. So, yung uh, kanina na problem, yung mga naunang problem natin, uh, dalawang temperature lang yung consider natin, which is outside and inside. Pero in this problem, um, consider natin mga interface temperature, mga nasa pagitan na temperature. So, para masolve mo na yung problem na to, gawa tayo ng thermal resistance circuit para mas maintindihan natin. So, yan. So, this is T1. T2. T3 tapos T4 yan yung mga previous problem pwede nyo rin gawin to pero madalas kasi dun is ginagamit lang or dalawa lang kasi yung talagang consider na temperature it is outside and inside hindi na pinapakailaman yung interface temperature na 2 at 3 but in this problem, papakita natin kung paano hanapin yung temperature 2 and temperature 3. Yung mga ordinary problem like yung last na mga problem, okay din na gawin yung ganito. Lagyan nyo ng mga temperature 2, 3, 4. Para if in case yung problem biglang uh, itanongin din bigla, at least nakaredy na agad yung uh, thermal resistance circuit nyo. So first and foremost, lagi yung unang hanapin natin yung mga resistance muna. Ito yung resistance 1, resistance 2, resistance 3. So let's solve natin yung mga resistance. So resistance 1, formula ulit for resistance, thickness over Ka. Area natin, same throughout the wall. Tapos, yung mga thickness, given na din. So, direct sub. Thickness is 0 0.25 meters over K natin 0 0.4 watts per meter Kelvin times area na 12 meters squared. So, R1 natin is equals to 0 0.0521. <clears throat> Kelvin per watts R2 plus to delta x K1 po pala to over K2 area thickness given for R2 wall 2 is 0 0.08 meters over K2 na 0 0.2 watts meters kelvin times 12 meters squared so r2 is equals to 0 0.0333 kelvin per watts so last na thermal resistance 3 is to delta x over k 3 area Delta x natin is 0 0.02 for R3. 0 0.02 meters over 55 watts per meter Kelvin times 12 meters squared. So R3 natin is equals to 3.03 times 10 raised to negative 5 kelvin per watts so solve na natin lahat ang uh, thermal resistance so first hanapin muna natin yung R total tapos yung total heat transfer or yung Q bago natin mahanap yung T2 at T3 so Makikita naman natin sa 
uh, circuit natin, uh, thermal resistance circuit natin na naka-series lahat ng thermal resistance. So, summation lang, R1 plus R2 plus R3. Substitute natin lahat ito. Magiging R total natin is 0.085 for Kelvin per watts. Yan. Now, let's solve for the heat or total heat transfer. So, um, bakit nga ba kailangan natin isolve muna yung total heat transfer? Gaya ng sabi natin sa lecture natin yung basic concepts na itong formula ang ginagamit natin for heat conduction yung Fourier's law na uh, binigay natin is for one dimension at at, at yung um, heat transfer or heat natin is steady state flow siya so ito yung flow natin no? so kung ano man ang Q all the way from T1 to T4, yun din ang Q natin. So, magamit natin ng Q pag, para hanapin yung T2 at T3. So, so unin mo natin yung Q. Gamit yung total. Yung buong mga resistance, yung mga dinaanan ng Q. So, ang gagamitin natin is RT. So, magiging yung temperature difference natin, hindi katulad kanina, T2 saka T1 lagi ngayon, magiging yung dulo-dulo na lang T4 at T1 so T4 minus T1 over R total so ano magiging total Q natin magiging ah, baliktad po pala wait lang po given natin is mali pala ang assumption natin no dapat ang assumption natin yung heat pala is laging going from hot to cold so T4 to T1 so T1 po ito saka T4 tama T1 T4 Sorry po pala Magkamali lang po tayo dito Tama pa rin po pala yung direction kanina Na papunta sa T1 to T4 Kamali lang po ng sulat dito So ito po is T1 Minus T4 So substitute natin T1 is 600 Gris Celsius Minus 60 Gris Celsius Over our total natin is 0.0854 Kelvin per watts. So, solving, calculate natin. Mahanap uh, natin na Q is 6320.9421 watts. So, ito yung sagot natin pag tinatanong yung total heat transfer pero tinatanong din kung ano daw ang temperature in between T1 uh, wall 1 and wall 2 saka wall 2 and wall 3 so unahin natin yung T2 paano pag solve sa T2 kaya nang sabi natin ang heat dito na flow at steady flow state so Q natin is equal all the way sa wall. So, para hanapin yung T2, mag-focus muna tayo dito sa wall 1 lang. So, sa wall 1, ang temperature difference dyan is T1 at T2 lang. So, ang magiging formula natin for Q, magiging T1 minus T2. And, ang magiging thermal resistance natin, dahil ang kinonsider lang natin is yung first wall, or yung R1 lang or yung wall 1 lang pala so magiging R natin yung resistance lang natin doon of course is yung R1 lang kasi hindi naman na dumaan dito sa 2 at 3 so magiging uh, thermal resistance natin is R1 so substitute natin yung mga given 
Q natin, na-solve na natin. 6320.9421 watts equals T1 is 600 degrees Celsius minus T2, yun yung hinahanap natin, over. R1 natin given na 0 0.0521. Kelvin per watts. So, skip solve para mabilis po. Tapos, ang magiging sagot natin is 42, 270.6789 degrees Celsius. So, na-solve na natin yung T2. Now, let's go to T3. Paano i-solve si T3? So, ganun lang din po yung concept na gagamitin natin pag-solve sa T3. So, Q equals. Pwede mo i-consider dalawa yan. Pero, unahin natin yung from T1 to T3. So, kung ang temperature difference na i-consider natin, T1 at T3, para ma-solve yung T3, Sulat natin T1 minus T3. So, ano nga ba yung mga thermal resistance na napagitan sa T1 at T3? In yung R1 at R2. So, kunin natin yung thermal resistance ng R1 at R2. Ipag-add natin. Bakit natin pag-add? Kasi naka-series po sila. Pero, pag naka-parallel po sila, dapat iparallel, iparallel din po natin yung yung thermal resistance nila. So, R1 plus R2. So, substitute natin ulit yung Q. 6320.9421 watts equals to 600 minus T3. R1 ulit natin given as 0 0.0521 Kelvin per watts plus R2. 0.0333 Kelvin per watts. So, ship solve. Compute natin si T3 as 60.1915 degrees Celsius. So, yan po. So, other way para solve si T3 is from T4 to T3. So, paano nga po ba isosolve yan? So, ganun lang din. Q laging equal yan all the way. So, Q equals to T3 minus T4. So, kikita natin T3, T4. Ano nga bang thermal resistance na napagitan ng T3 at T4? It is yung wall 3 or yung R3 so R3 lang ang ilalagay natin dito substitute yung given yung heat na 6320.9421 watts equals to T3 yun yung hinahanap minus T4 na given is 60 divided by R3 na 3.0303 times 10 raised to negative 5 Dapat, ang magiging sagot po natin dito is same sa na-solve natin sa una na 60.1915. So, there you go. Ganyan po, mag-solve ng interface temperature of the wall.